In 2017, Ubisoft released For Honor for the Sony PlayStation 4, Microsoft Windows, and Xbox One. The premise of the game were that different warriors were set against one another in factions due to a natural catastrophe. Having no choice but to fight together for resources and territory, the knights, vikings, and samurai all fought among each other to survive. During initial development, the three factions would have characters that were historically accurate to real-life knights of English or French origin, Vikings or Scandinavian origin, and samurai of Japanese origin. These characters were the focus of the game, and the interactions that they had with one another and against the other factions were held as groundbreaking for the game in terms of realism and authenticity, for the moves or attacks or even gestures that these characters would do in a match. Anticipation for the game was high due to the premise of the different factions fighting one another on the authentic characters. When the game was released, the anticipation was short-lived, as connection problems with finding a game and frequent disconnecting of players who left matches because the team that they were on were losing were the complaints of the player base, and Ubisoft attempted to try and fix these problems. Apparently at the time, the servers that Ubisoft had for the game frequently had problems due to the amounts of players attempting to connect to play the game, and the aspect of disconnecting either accidentally or on purpose, and as a result matches were lost or uncompleted throughout the last span of the game due to the unreliability or unpredictability of the servers. The artificial intelligence within the game varied depending on the circumstances of the match. There were times that the artificial intelligence based controlling non-player characters were well in health teams, and other examples of the artificial intelligence not necessarily helping much at all, and were easy kills for the opposing team when attacked by a single player or multiple opponents. Other problems had it that some of the characters were based too much on attacks and not on skill. As a result, there were massive amounts of players selecting certain characters more often than other characters in terms of abilities, as the characters would be used more often in terms of playability or easiness against others. To keep the player base interested, new characters would be brought in over time for each faction. While the characters brought out an added amount of death to the factions, there were soon claims of repetitive auctions in games and not much else in terms of replayability. Characters had customizable features in terms of finishing moves for their opponents, taunts, or even cosmetic features in terms of insignias or designs for the characters on their armor or clothing. However, problems soon arise that due to the conditions of obtaining different sorts of customizable items or pieces in-game, it made the repetitive aspect of the game even worse, or even more boring for players to endure. In 2018, the Marching Fire expansion was brought into the game, with the new faction being that of the Wu Lin, which were a group of fighters and characters based on historical Chinese-based warriors and Chinese-based weaponry. Despite the fact that the Marching Fire was announced a year after the game was originally released, the reception to the new characters were mixed, with critics and gamers praising the characters in the Wulin faction, but criticism of the game and what the experience of For Honor was in terms of what it would be like for the players at that particular time. In February to March of 2019, in order to help increase the amount of players within For Honor, it was made free for download on the PlayStation Store, but due to the reputation that the game had obtained by that time, the reactions to it being a free game were mixed and the situation for player usage of For Honor had not become much better. In 2020, Ubisoft released the Griffin character which was formerly part of the Knights faction, but the details of the character embraced different fighting styles and aspects of cultures from the other factions. This was later viewed as Ubisoft moving away from the realistic and authentic characters that the game had been originally conceived upon, in moving towards something more improvised and imaginary in another attempt to bring players into the game or to attract older players back into playing. Even after all that, with more characters released to help keep the player base active, patches and updates to fix the game's problems, For Honor ended up only having a small, yet loyal, player base.
aside from what the larger original base of the game was when first released. Many abandoning the game, disappointed with the excellent characters and concept of the game, with poor implementation of the said concepts, a broken artificial intelligence program, forgettable campaign mode, repetitive challenges, and nothing truly worth remembering. Sometimes a character can be forgotten because they were promised to do a lot, but ended up doing little to nothing.